Hey you guys, what's up everybody? Let me just fire up my pipe real quick. So this is a video I've been planning for a long time and yet it is completely unscripted. This video is titled For the Want of a Small Pipe. I talk about small pipes, small balls in this video. This is the smallest briar pipe I own. This is a new Mario Grandi pipe, Mario Grandi, from Italy. Um, you might see in that lighting that even though it's new, the sides are nice and shiny, all waxed, and the top is already really uh, matte. Well, that happens with all of them, unfortunately. But this is a really, really small pipe. In it, I have some uh, wasted youth. This is just my my dumpings. Mostly Virginia, it's very good. Um, not broken in this pipe yet, but that doesn't matter. So, this one, this, 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 and this, and this is from Mario Grandi. Um, this is the smallest briar, as I mentioned, but it is not the smallest bowl. Smallest bowl is this one. This is a pear wood. This is a Mr. Brock number 20. But I'm gonna talk about those pipes in general. So, uh, just some variations here. I'm gonna show you each pipe in kind of a close-up right now. Just so you don't have to wonder what lies in the background all this time. All those are small pipes. This is a very nice poker. This is a poker as well, with a fishtail stem, nice grain, nice bird's eye. And those three are Big Ben Pipo pipes. This one uh, is the straight version of the Ranger. The Ranger just has a different stem and an overall a little longer shape, I think. This one is a smooth briar, nice grain, super comfortable, very light, decent sized bowl. This one is a very nice spiderweb sandblast, I don't know if you can see it, but it starts out here in a circular motion and moves on outwards. Very nice rustication on this, sandblast I mean. A little bit ashy on the inside, and I do use those with softy bits. There's a big band people wrapped in leather. Those are made in the Netherlands. The Mario Grandi pipes are made in Italy. These are factory made pipes from the Netherlands. And another Mario Grandi, this is an olive wood. Stand up poker, also small. Alright. This is a Polish Mr. Brog. This is number 31. I really do like this pipe simply because of the bend. Um, the way you have it in your, uh, between your teeth, the uh, bowl looks straight upwards. And this is really what I like, it has a white, wide stem. This one looks slightly disproportional because it has such a small bowl and uh, thick shank and really wide stem. Um, this is also a Mr. Brock. This is a number 36. Also very small bowl. Another Polish Mr. Brock. This is a number 38. This is a bent. It has a slightly deeper bowl, much like the olive wood from Mario Grandi. Very nice rustication on this one. Whoops. This is a nice pipe. 
Let's move on to the last Mr. Brock, number 20. Really small bowl. This one is in my go bag, in my EDC bag. Very light pipe. Smokes a little bit hot, but that doesn't matter too much because you don't smoke too long on it. Um, uh, this is a traditional vest pocket pipe. This is made in England. Just says vest pocket pipe on the bottom. This has a weird bowl because this has a completely uh, deep bowl. Yeah, I mean not completely deep, but but it's up up to there deep. And uh, you can fill a lot of tobacco in there. But the draft holder is, is on this side, so all the stuff that is on this side hardly gets smoked. You have to tamp it very carefully. Also, a very light pipe. You can store it like this. I tend not to do so. This was an estate, as were these three. And uh, all the other, other pipes on the table are brand new. Let's move on to the cobs. This one is a pipe, a legend, Rob Roy, that I do not consider small. This is a 25 minute smoke to me, um, as well as those, but I don't think this overall package is small even if you would shorten the stem um, I do not consider this one short or the Mogan nose warmer that I have somewhere else right now this is not a small pipe by my standards this one is though this is a Mizu has a long stem yes but it has a very small bowl can barely get my pinky in there small pipe this is the uh, either the Eaton or the Lady Godiva. Don't remember the difference. This is a naked pipe, same size bowl. You could even shorten this one, cut off the shank here, and put the stem up top so you have a pipe like this. But that I wouldn't recommend. And now here we have a uh, so called mini church warden. This is the new model, the short stop, extremely small pipe. Extremely small bowl, you can see, can barely fit my fingernail in there. Very small, very short uh, smoke. But uh, let's fire up my Mario Grandi again. So let's dig into the philosophy a little bit. Um, this pipe is so small look at it next to an aristocop tamper look how short that pipe is this really is a nose warmer this is a standard check tool I think you can see that there you have a AAA battery powered flashlight and uh, let's get that out of the way some classic lip balm, this is a bird's bees, doesn't matter. But it's almost the, the size of a, you know, classic lip balm stick. This is really small and a uh, big mini. Easily to carry around, nice pocket size. And all of these are really besides those maybe, simply because of the stems. Um, this one would work too actually as a pocket pipe these big man peoples would definitely work not much longer just awesome awesome little pipes oh yeah and this is just a standard sized um, 91 millimeter Victorinox Swiss Army knife okay let's get all of that out of the way and just talk about the pipes so why would you want to have a small pipe well let me tell you even though this is unscripted I have many thoughts and let me explain my thoughts right now in the funny matter manner that I would will be doing it so small pipes you don't have to smoke all the way down to the bowl when you have a tobacco that you not like or haven't tried yet and don't know if you like it or simply you don't have time 
If, you, if I don't have time to smoke 30-40 minutes before I go to work, I fire up one of these little bad boys just to get a little bit of nicotine, just a little bit of tobacco taste after, after lunch, you know, when I have late shift or something. Just a little bit of smoking will do wonders for your relaxation. So you can use those pipes as sample pipes. You can smoke them back to back, which I tend to do. Sometimes I smoke three, four bowls um, after one another. Simply because I like to smoke a Virginia, maybe another Virginia to compare this Virginia to another without uh, letting time pass, you know, a day or so. Sometimes I like to smoke an arrow and an English back to back and definitely on the go you would really want to have something like that so you don't have to bring a huge pipe bag and everything my camera is blinking I assume the battery is almost dead but I really do like throwing just one of those pipes in my pocket mostly it's my carbs because they are really cheap um, those Mario Grandi pipes you can get for 30 bucks and uh, and more but they um, they charge about $18 or $15 shipping but it it is uh, urgent express shipping so it arrives on your doorstep uh, two days after um, maybe three I like to throw those in my pocket you know in my cargo pocket or just in my uh, in my jeans pocket this one not so much, but this one has such a small bowl also. You can smoke uh, with friends when you're, uh, when you're in, uh, in, a, in a group of people that doesn't, you know, allow smoking inside. You can go outside with your cigarette buddies or alone, enjoy short smoke, go back in. What I also do is when I have a big pipe, I just let it go out, just put my hand out, up there you know I set it down relight it once in a while um, that doesn't work uh, with all tobacco some are more forgiving than others but there's a discussion for another day um, all in all small pipes yes you want them in your collection no you don't exclusively want small pipes sometimes you just have a tobacco that is very complex it changes all the way through the bowl as you're smoking it um, you can smoke up to an hour uh, and tobacco a tobacco and it will change the taste like three times or something it can happen um, for a monotonous simple short and enjoyable smoke I recommend getting one or two small pipes I have more as you can see I have pear wood olive wood briar corn cobs um, I don't have meerschaum or clay but uh, or calabash but that will eventually make its way up into my collection. So you can see how easy it is to grab one of those pipes and just throw it in your pocket. You saw the size difference. Very easy to carry around. Those are very light, very good clenchers. And uh, yeah, right now I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. This is not only called a best pocket pipe because it fits in a vest pocket pipe um, but well no that was a stupid thought it's exactly called because of that because it fits in a vest pocket that was a stupid thought scratch that I'm not gonna edit that out so uh, I hope you have a pleasant day have a short or a long smoke or multiple short smokes in a row like I will have right now I'm gonna smoke this bad boy to the ball uh, to the uh, ash now and um, I hope you consider some of these manufacturers. All those pipes here are awesome. All of them. Have a good night. Roll tight, y'all.